Alright guys, we're back uh, for another daily devotion. I'm filming this on Thursday. It actually just hailed right outside, uh, which was completely bonkers. So I don't know if it hailed at your house, but it did here. Anyways, I hope you're okay. Uh, a hailstorm is probably the last thing you needed right now, but here we are. Anyways, we're doing things a little bit different. We have a handout for you guys today. Uh, right there, there it is. So on the first page, we just have the themes of Ephesians, which are going to be backwards for you, so that's no help. Uh, and then the passage that we're looking to, which is Ephesians 1, 3 through 14, and then a quote over something that we'll go over today. So if you're watching this on uh, YouTube or Facebook, the link to that handout will be in the comments. Uh, and then if you're uh, watching this on Instagram, it'll be the link in our bio. So today, I want you to really uh, mark up the passage that we're going to be in. So if you have a Bible, uh, you can mark it up in your Bible. If it's not yours, if you're borrowing it, maybe ask first. Um, but that's why I made it available for you guys to print off. Because I like to use pencil in my Bible because highlighter, marker, whatever bleeds through. Um, but it's hard to see pencil. So I printed this off. So I'm going to do this with you. So mark it up. Try to make five observations from the text today, and then we'll talk about some of those. So do that right now. I'm going to do it with you, but time-lapsed. It should take less than five minutes. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so what are some of the observations you made? Uh, so see, this is probably chicken scratch to a lot of you, uh, but here's some things that I found that I wanted to unpack some more. So uh, first off, we see that the Trinity is mentioned. So we have God the Father, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, and then down here, the Holy Spirit. So all three members of the Trinity are mentioned. Um, blessed, that's a really important word. Uh, so I highlighted that to see maybe um, how we've been blessed. And then I noticed that in Christ, or in Him, uh, was repeated several times, and then so was predestined. So I think there might be something there to unpack a little bit more. Um, uh, then we have, let's see, uh, here, so unite all things in Him, things in heaven and things on earth, is in fact one of the themes. So we want to double check everything that we, we read about the Bible, make sure it's actually in the Bible, that is. And finally, uh, there is a connection here between adoption and inheritance. So, let's unpack maybe two of these. So, let's look at adoption, but first, uh, let's look into why we're blessed by God. All right, so I mentioned that uh, Paul, Paul gives three ways that we've been blessed through Christ. So, why don't you take a second and look for those. Pause it look for it then unpause it. All right, welcome back. So there's three ways, like I said. Uh, the first way that we've been blessed in Christ uh, is that we've been giving, given every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. All right, then verse 4 is the second way. So verse 4 says that, uh, that God the Father chose us in Christ. So the second way we're blessed is that we've been chosen to be in Christ. And then finally, the third way is all the way down in verse 9 or 10. It's in verse 9. Uh, so he, God has made known to us the mystery of his will. So there's three ways that we've been blessed just in this simple uh, introduction that Paul writes to the Ephesians. So the other thing, if you remember, uh, that I highlighted that I thought we should look into was uh, the connection between adoption and inheritance. And so what I really want to get into now is what that means. What is adoption? Uh, so the quote on the back of the handout, I'll go ahead and read. It says that adoption is a family idea conceived in terms of love and viewing God as Father. In adoption, God takes us into his family and fellowship. He establishes us as his children and heir, closeness, affection, and generosity are at the heart of the relationship. To be right with God the judge is a great thing, but to be loved and cared for by God the Father is greater. 
Now, of course, these aren't two separate gods, right? These are just two natures of God. Uh, and so we think of God as, as judge and we're justified before him. That's obviously incredible, right? It makes us love Jesus any more, even more, because we know how desperately sinful we are and how far Christ had to bring us uh, to, to make us righteous before God. But we're not righteous strangers before God, but we're now sons and daughters of God, which is, which is far greater, as, as J.I. Packer said, that now we're not just accepted, it is okay, but we're deeply loved, like, like your mom or your dad loves you, their son or daughter. So, what does that uh, mean for us? Well, it's, it's actually really interesting. When we think about adoption, we usually think, like, oh, maybe a baby or a young child was adopted um, by parent, by their, their parents. That's generally how things work today. Uh, but back when Paul was writing this, that, that wasn't how it worked. Uh, so it wasn't usually kids that were adopted, but older people that were adopted. So if a, uh, a family, maybe they had kids, maybe they didn't, but they didn't have anybody that they thought were worthy to carry on their family name or their family business, whatever. Uh, they would adopt somebody that was in good standing uh, and then they would carry on their family name. And so when we think about it like that, uh, God has chosen us to carry on his name, right? Not perfectly, uh, but think about how far we are from that. Like if God said, hey, we, you know, we need you to carry on the name of God so people will know who I am. Right? That, that, that's insane. That's a far, far reach for us to do. But that's what God did. He brought us in, and now we are sons and daughters of the King. Not just random strangers that you pardon. So that's something that I, I want you guys to think about. Uh, think about how that... Uh, affects us and impacts us in our daily life, right, when we mess up, uh, when we when we do good things even, right? Like um, a common illustration, if you worked in nursery, you've probably seen this, but kids really like to give their drawings away, and their drawings are not good, generally. Um, yours were probably great, but most kids don't draw that well. But we still love it when, when a kid gives us a little scribbly drawing right? Uh, that doesn't necessarily make us like them or, or love them more, uh, but it, it does, it makes us happy, right? And so our good works and our uh, thoughts and everything, there's like the little scribbly art uh, that we give to God, and God delights in that because he delights in his sons and in his daughters. So let's take a minute, uh, you guys can, can pray for that. Uh, pray, thank God that we're now his sons and we're in his family. So uh, before before you do that, uh, let me do some uh, housekeeping stuff. So we have uh, the prayer prompt today. So in addition to thanking God that we're his sons and daughters, also pray uh, for the police force. So if you don't know any police, I know Caleb and Stephen's dad is a policeman. Uh, I'm sure there's some others. You might know some. You might have somebody in your family. But if not, just pray for the police in general, because they're still working. All right, so pray for them. And then our question is, who is your favorite TV show character? I've been thinking about this. I think mine might be uh, Aang from The Last Avatar, or The Last Airbender, Avatar Last Airbender. But also might be Will Smith from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Anyways, let me know yours. Uh, now, let's take a second to pray. Father, we love you. Pray that you would be glorified now through our devotions. Lord, we thank you that we are sons and daughters of you, of the Most High King. Lord, so thank you for bringing us in to your family for the inheritance uh, that is eternal and that's heavenly. Lord, we pray that you would equip us to live as your sons and daughters in this world and that we would treat you as our good, good Father. We love you, and it's in your Son's name we pray. Amen. All right, that's it for today. That's it for today. Make sure you uh, check out the YouTube pages, the Facebook page, and the Instagram. We'll see you guys soon.